Hello, welcome to the Duke Wasser Lab at Columbia University. We have different tick species here that are found on Staten Island. Here we have the black-legged tick, responsible for many cases of Lyme disease on Staten Island. Here we have the lone star tick. And then the newly invasive Asian longhorn tick. So here we have um, the black leg tick or Ixodes scapularis, and we have larvae, nymphs, a male, and a female. This is Amblyona americana, americanum, and this is an adult female, the nymph, and a larvae. This is the newly discovered uh, invasive tick species, uh, the Asian longhorn tick, and here we have larvae, nymph, an adult female. All right, so these are black-legged tick larvae. Really, really small. But this is amongst the population of ticks that are being um, researched here at Columbia University so that we can determine which are infected and which are not. So we take these engorged larvae and we will go through a process to extract the DNA out of them so that then we can determine which ones are infected or not using our qPCR, quantitative PCR. So our student, Dan, here, will show you how we go through and crush our ticks. All right, so here we have an engorged larvae. It's very small. It looks about, it's about the size of a poppy seed. Uh, first, we physically crush it. We put it in a detergent solution and physically crush it until it's almost into a powder. Uh, at that point, we put it in something called a vortex, uh, which uh, vibrates the parts and gets them into the solution. And then we put them into the centrifuge, which is over here. Uh, and this spins them at uh, several thousand revolutions per minute. Uh, and then we'll be prepared to process them. Here are spirochetes, which are the causative agents for Lyme disease. And we can see that they're kind of twitching here and here showing that they are alive. When we describe them as bacterium, is that accurate? Yes, it is a spirochetal bacteria. 